like, hold up, my friend's crying. It's time to get that radar up. I'm gonna get some new money, get some new pay. Open up my eyes, brand new day. They get acting up, you know I don't play. My fuck around and get a new bae. I'm gonna get some new. I'm gonna get some new. Hey everyone, this is your girl B. Chevre. And um, basically today, I wanted to speak about something that was weighing heavy on my heart. Not that this is the only discussion I've ever had, but it was the latest discussion that I've had. And it's basically with one of my best friends. You know, she was opening up to me, speaking about how oh, someone who's very close to her who's pretty much mean to her probably for like years. And we all have that individual or individuals who treat us pretty nasty. You know, just, I don't know. It's like they just dump all their baggage of nastiness on us and then they bring it to the world like they're angels and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like those type of people. That's what we're discussing about today. Um, basically she was crying and you know, as a friend, you're like, hold up, my friend's crying, it's time to get that radar up. And she basically was just asking why she was crying. Like, why do people who do messed up things prosper? And why doesn't she, or you know, you may have felt that way. Like, why does this person get to have this or get to do this? And I'm over here struggling. Like, I don't get it. And then you are you have this animosity with them, yourself, because you probably don't feel like you're good enough, or you think they cheated their way here or there, and you just, just feel inadequate, and you just feel horrible. Well, basically, as I was speaking to my homegirl, and I was on the treadmill while I was speaking to her, and I was just like, hold up, calm down. All right, we gonna calm down because I'm gonna tell you a few things. Even though I'm not like a psychologist and everything like that, I wasn't gonna just let her get off the phone and and just continue to feel that way. You know how we are as friends or if we're intimate with someone else, we just don't want them feeling like, feeling horrible, feeling less than, than, than um, worthy. We don't want them feeling less than worthy, all right? So basically, I, I wrote down some points to her to let her understand what's going on right now. And I'm the type of friend, I keep it real, but I keep it a nice real. I'm not going to make you feel all oh, like, like you're a horrible person with my realness, but I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to let you know, like this way of thinking is not going to get you anywhere. And if you guys see a fly, people like to leave the doors open in this house, so just say hi every time it goes, zzz, zzz, all right? I, I can't kill them all, you know? And they make babies so fast. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So here's some points that I gave her. And I'm pretty sure she left feeling better because we talk every day and we didn't have that discussion anymore. And you know when you're feeling bad about something and it didn't leave your mind yet, you're gonna bring that up to your friend again. You're gonna keep talking about it till it, you forget about it. Whether it's a broken heart or whatever. Or you lost your job or people at your job till you forget about it you're not speaking on it so i know she feels better and i hope what i have to say to you make you feel better too so one the reason why they're blossoming and you're not <laughs> plain and simple is perception it is the way you're perceiving things you literally are looking at yourself as a loser and you're looking at them as a winner as a winner Point blank, period. Now, should you be doing that? No. No way. Why would you look at yourself as a loser? Why would you really do that? And then and then this person's a horrible person and you see them as a winner. Why? Because they got a nice car. They got a better job. Oh, they graduated from this college or these colleges. Huh? Oh, they got this nice strapping man or all these nice strapping men. Oh, they're getting money dropping their account. Oh, they're taking trips here, trips there. Nine times out of 10, if this person is treating you horribly and that's all you're getting from them, you probably don't deal with them on the daily basis. You probably are only receiving information that they choose to give you. 
So whatever you perceive is just what you're being, you know, the, whatever you perceive is whatever you're being fed by this individual or maybe individuals around them. Trust me, it's kind of like you're going through somebody's social media. Like, do you really think that picture accounts for 24 hours of the day? And 24 hours times seven days? You know what I'm saying? Do you really think that 15 second, 60 second video really accounts for everything that's going on in your life? And I'm not trying to say that you should wish bad on them, but please, please believe me, nobody likes to showcase their struggles, especially with someone they're beefing with or they know that they're, they're not treating right. Someone that they know maybe if they got to know a lot of tea about them, they may stomp on them. And I hope you're not that type of person. But, you know, just know that you're being fed only the good things, mostly. So, yes, you're going to perceive the greatest things because all they're showcasing is good and you're not even seeing anything bad. I bet you if they talk, if you talk to one of their best friends, I bet you if, they, if you talk to their partner, I bet you if, they, if you talk to their closest family members, people at their job, you might hear things and see things a little differently. So please, take that out of perception that someone's living their best life when you, for sure, aren't spending 24 hours of the day with them. Not at all. All right? So take that out of your mind, man. Like, you can't, can't really sit here and just downplay yourself and your accomplishments because of what you think someone else got going on. And what's for them is for them, all right? All right, and then, like I stated, well, what I'm about to state, the only way you know someone is blossoming or is living a good life is by the way they treat other people. You ever heard the saying, hurt people hurt people? Are they hurting you? Maybe they're hurting. I mean, what causes them to be so nasty towards you? Especially if, I'm just saying, if you aren't being nasty towards them either. Why do they still feel like picking fights with you? Why do they still like feel like bringing up the past when you thought you, you both, you know, crushed that? Huh? Why do they still like to pick on your weight or your vehicle or your home or you know, the job that you have or pick on how you take care of your kids or you take care of your man or pick on that you don't have a spouse. Why do they feel the need to attack you about your personal goals and your personal life? Is it because they're hurting somewhere and they just want to see you hurt too? You know, misery do love company. And with you believing that they're living a better lifestyle than you and you feeling horrible about it, their job is well done. I mean, you proved them right. <laughs> you you help them a lot. You help them feel a little bit better about themselves because you allow their hurt behind to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just know that if somebody's really prospering or is really blossoming, do you think they'd be around here being a nasty individual? Do you think so? I'm just saying. If you wake up and you know you're happy about things, why even try to pick a fight or mess with someone if you're so happy? Sounds like someone that's not blossoming to me. And then when you feel that way and when you say things like why are they getting this and that and I don't got this like I wanted that why they got it why did God bless them with that how come they get to have this they're a bad person why are they getting good karma they're horrible and I don't get nothing when you think like that for all of you that believe in the almighty one you anger God you anger God knowing that He's ordering your steps in order to get you to all these wonderful destinations. And you are literally 
looking at someone else's lane. You're not standing in your lane. You over here standing at this person's lane. Like, how are you going to get to where you got to go if you're swerving left and right, about to crash into a tree, about to crash into the, to the post, about to crash into a building, staring at what somebody else, where somebody else is going? Like, it don't work like that. You have so much things in line for you. All you got to do is stick to your plan. No matter what kind of cards you are dealt with, you have to stick to your plan and get there. But you're over here upset about what toy this other kid has. When you probably got the biggest toy waiting out of them all. Like, at this point, you're telling God that you're not worthy and that you don't deserve this toy. Because you know what? You already gave somebody this. I don't want nothing else. Look at me. I don't have nothing else. I'm not, I'm not reaching towards nothing else. Like there's a process to everything. Enjoy the process. Be happy that you have what you have now. Be content with that. Be content with that. Because if you're happy with what you have now, imagine how you're going to feel when, when you get what's, what's waiting for you. But if you're upset with what you have now, you're going to always be ungrateful. Why would I give you something more if you're not even happy with what I gave you? Why? Do you really want me to give you what they have? Because you don't even know what they got. You don't know if they're walking around with a disease that they don't want to tell nobody. You don't know if their, their spouse is beating on them, cheating on them. <laughs> you don't know if they cheated their way to getting that, that, that degree, or what they had to do behind the scenes for that. You don't know how they're making this money. You don't know none of that. All you know is you've seen the end results of what got them there. You need to work on your process so then you can see the end results that you want. So at the end of the day, all I have to say is what is for you is for you. Wait your turn. And during that wait, enjoy the process. Enjoy it. Every day that you wake up is a chance for you to get closer to your goal, to your dream, to that successful story that you can tell. But always worrying about what someone else got is doing, you're, in, you're always going to end up telling their story. And your, your story will never be told. It will never be told. So please, just focus on yourself. Pay attention to yourself. If the person is being nasty, just remember you control the atmosphere. You don't have to return that nastiness. You don't have to return that nastiness with feeling nasty, saying things that are nasty, and wishing anything nasty towards them. Just know that at the end of the day, hurt people hurt people. So you never know what's going on behind the scenes and why they even act that way. And you don't even know what they had to do to get what they have. You'd be surprised at what their family and friends would tell you if they ever opened up to you about their business. So worry about your business and get to the top. Make sure you never, never stop. Ah. <laughs> I'ma get some new, no, 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 no. I gotta get to these racks and these billions. I gotta get up off all of my feelings. I do not speak on the moves that I'm dealing. Sit back and look at the shit that I'm killing. The new me is about to act out. Got so many plans I mapped out. I'm drowning, I ain't in a drought. Listen, I'm drowning, I ain't in a drought.